Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Now, since I've started doing these tutorials on Adobe Audition 3.0, I've had emails asking me, how do you do this? Or how do you achieve that effect? Well, I'm going to answer one of those questions today. And the email was asking me, how do you achieve the stutter effect in Adobe Audition 3.0? Or, of course, similar editing software. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite stutter effects. The first, the most simple, I've just got a wave here, which is me saying stutter effect. Simply take the start of the wave, highlight it, hold down the shift key, and then right click and drag. Again, right click and drag. And one more time, right click and drag. You'll notice these little orange crossover lines. It's a nice crossfade, so your stutter will sound really smooth. Have a listen to this. Stutter effect. That's probably the most basic stutter you can do, but there's more, and I'm going to show you. The next one, I've got myself saying going down, as you can see there. But in this instance, I'm going to go to the edit view. Just double click the wave, and I'm going to take the first bit of down. Listen to the wave as it sounds now. Going down. Very straightforward. So I'm going to take that first little bit. Down. Maybe a little bit less than that. Down. Perfect. Now I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it once, twice, thrice, and four times. Highlight the start that I've copied. Listen to this. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's stuttering away there, but I'm going to add another effect. In the effects menu, time and pitch, stretch process, make sure you select gliding stretch, and the stretching mode needs to be pitch shift. Then type in a percentage ratio. For the start, it's going to be a higher pitch, 80%, and for the final, a lower pitch, Let's go for 130%. Click OK, and it's done. Have a listen to this as it sounds now. Going down. And now back to the multi-track view. And I can zoom in to this specific point here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out here the little bits that I've processed. And I'm going to drag them in so they crossfade nicely, like so. Zoom out, and I'll play you the finished product. Going, Going down. 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 And that's a pitch sh shifted stutter effect. The final effect, how about playing the biggest tunes, voiced by myself, with a drum beat in the background and a stutter. Very straightforward, very easy to do. Take a listen first of all to the voice on its own. Playing, playing the playing biggest, biggest tunes. tunes. Now I'm going to take the drum beat, and I'm going to stutter it like so taking the first bit the p bit playing and i'm going to put it on every half beat on this drum beat have a listen to this pl 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 playing the biggest tunes but that's not all i could do a little bit more maybe on the part that says biggest tunes here biggest, biggest tunes i could stutter that so let's have a go and bring the B, and put that on every half beat as well. Let's have a listen to that now. Plot, 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 playing the big, 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 biggest tunes. And there you go. Those are three simple stutter effects. Let's listen to them again. The first one, very straightforward. Stutter effect. The second is a pitch shift. Going down. And the third, making use of the stutter with the music beat as well. Plot, 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 playing the big, 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 biggest tunes. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial handy. Of course, if you have any questions you'd like to know how to achieve an effect in Adobe Audition 3.0, I would like to do my very best to help you out. So email me via this YouTube clip or, of course, via the website at musicradiocreative.com.